I'll start out by saying I'm Locke Robertson. Uh, it's, what's today? June 22nd, Cindy Lauper's birthday. Uh, she turned 67 today, but that doesn't matter. Um, it is 2020, and I have been a bartender here for 24 years. Um, <coughs> excuse me, what I'm gonna talk to you about today is New Year's Eve 1999 going into 2000. So, if you'll pan over here, this is where Miss P, the legendary Miss P, landed from a helicopter. Uh, we'll go over there in a little bit. But um, the stroke of midnight, she came flying in over the lake, which is just across on the other side of this hotel, um, and was dropped down from the sky in a green Peter Pan outfit, and then walked right up here onto this stage, on these stairs, um, to perform for the 12 o'clock show, uh, bringing in the year 2000. Wow, that's 20 years ago. Yeah. So come on over this way. I didn't even know there were stairs. <laughs> that's pretty exciting. So the fairly new owners at the time, Don and Susan, um, had just turned this whole area it used to be, you used to drive through here. This was not a courtyard. You would drive in this way, and you would go around the hotel, and then back around the other side. Um, around 98, when they purchased the place, they're like, this would be a great courtyard area. Um, and we should put bars out here and everything. So they got rid of the parking lot aspect of it and made it a courtyard. Now, fun fact, they decided, oh, let's put all new mulch in. Well, what happened, when the helicopter dropping Miss P um, came across the lake, she landed right, right over here. <laughs> I would say right about here. They had all these freshly mulched areas now imagine what those helicopter blades um, would do to a bunch of freshly laid mulch. So at about 11.59 on that New Year's Eve, we all came out, the, this was packed, you couldn't move. Um, everybody was so excited. And then came the helicopter and all the mulch started blowing up. Every, and so everybody's like, oh my God, and they started running because it all hit them in the eyes and in the face. And it did hurt, I'm not gonna lie. So as much as they enjoyed it, it was still kind of painful as well. But still, a great memory, and um, you have some fun photos of that, which is yes. pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it was incredible. So at 11.59, she landed right here in this very spot, and then Breaks on up to the stage and started the midnight show, welcoming everyone into the new millennia. Millennia, millennial, millennial. It was awesome. All right, what else? That's it. That's it. Alexa Rodriguez of LGBTQ History Museum of Central Florida. Thank you.